morning YouTube and um, this is another mirror universe for Nick's channel um, and also a little bit of a, an experiment for me um, you can see in front of you is a, is a photo booth um, move it back from it a tiny bit um, I got this yesterday for Father's Day off my little girl um, so big thumbs up for that I wonder where she got the idea from um, and it's something I'm, I'm planning on getting um, a proper camera soon like a DSLR um, rather than just using my phone although be honest the phone on this galaxy s5 is really good i i, I want to do um proper nice shots of my minis and that plus um nikki wants to to get more into photography as well and take nice photos etc so i was sick of having to try to get focus and this that and the other so i thought i'll get one of these um and i need to iron um this you get you get four colors with it i remember so you get the white backdrop red blue and black, I'll never use the red one, um, not just for football reasons, but I think it's just the contrast, horrible. And then it all folds down, goes into this nice case there with the pockets at the back in which you can store oh, yeah, a camera stand. Um, so, camera will screw onto the top there, and then this will sort of open into a zigzag to, to actually give it some um, sturdiness, and then. And these bags, you get two of these, um, and they're, they're, they're lights on. So, obviously, they'll go at the side to put plenty of light into there um, to make everything nice and sharp and crisp. I've not set the lights up for today's purpose, but I thought I'll give it a whirl. Um, obviously, it all just collapses down. This, this bit pulls out, you should iron these, as say, and this bit folds down and it all folds flat so it's, it's easily storable. Um, and carryable as well if you wanted to take a tea gaming club to I don't know put pieces of scenery or whatever but I thought I'll give it a go um, a bit of black fluff on it that I need to clean off and just see whether or not it's going to work from a focusing point of view I've noticed with the videos I've already uploaded I'm struggling because of background images and I thought what better to use than of all the armies I've got for 40k I've been collecting it again since 6th edition came out um, put together a Dark Eldar army and then I put together a White Scar army but it was no good because in the old Codex White Scars um, they just didn't really work and then for a Throne of Skulls tournament me and, me and the guys who we went with um, we all did themed army so somebody did a, a, a Spartan army somebody did a Resident Evil army etc I did an Aliens army and that was my first venture into NIDS it was in 5th Codex as well but um, after seeing Ace Face's video this morning um, with his forge wheeled hard tire and thought, do you know what? I need, I need to photograph these guys and, and see what they look like in, in, inside this booth. So, without further ado, my first model is my queen, my alien queen. So that's the, the, the forge wheeled hard tyrant. Um, so I've changed the tail. Boxing does work. Squishing on dead Imperial Guardsman. And then if I lift up. You can see obviously the head that I've put underneath. And this is obviously pieces from the Tyran FX kit and or etc. Whatever carapace is there from, I forget now. Plus um the spines. So that's one, that's my queen. I've then got my Doom of Malantai, who is completely obsolete now. Um it's not actually working too well the focus. Um if I had video editing software, I'd do all this and just put like a showcase up. Again, there's this. It's actually the Malanthrope Forge World model. Uh, so I could use it as a Malanthrope, but I can't see me paying the points to use one of them, to be honest. Um, and then I've got my Death Leaf bit. Again, yeah, I need, I need to put those lights on um, so it's sending light in. Um, let's see if I turn that light on, will it give any benefit? Very little. Um, yeah, he's got. He's impaling through one guardsman, and head through another one. And just in the back through in here, there's a guy who I believe is Hicks because it's the guy with the, the sunglasses which I've made look like a blindfold. Um, and these are all resin heads um, that I have made for me. And then I'll show you better on, on some warriors um, in a second. I did the rest. Went back to my school days and with some papier mache. 
I made an egg. <laughs> um, and that was my mindset explore for my, my Duma Malentite to come down in. Uh, lots of fun making that sponge inside with some um, green stuff. Tentacles, whatever they are. Um, yeah, loads of fun making that. Um, and then a couple of spore mine clusters. The idea behind these guys, because um, I was trying to keep it themed, is the spore mines, they explode when you reach them. Um, within two inches they explode. I was thinking, oh, how can I fit something in? I had point of spare in the army. I was thinking, how can I fit something in that, that's from the movies? And I just thought, oh yeah, exploding chests. Um, the base was coming out of the chest. So that, that's what these guys are. Um, there's six of them in total. Um, they all look more or less the same. Um, not necessarily modelled particularly well, but, but they look good for the purpose. Ripper swarms. Bit, bit of a given, really. Forge wheeled ripper swarms actually look like um, alien chest busters. Um, <laughs> my hand makes it focus better than the white does. Yeah, I definitely need to work on this. I've literally, guys, just set this up and opened it for you. Um, my gene stealers were Imgal gene stealers, or however people pronounce them. And because I wanted them to be a little bit different, I um, I used the Space Hulk, um, the purple Space Hulk gene stealers, which I think was the, the second edition Space Hulk. And then obviously I just added more more dynamic poses to them. Um, I mean, they're already pretty dynamic anyway. But, again, if you look, there's one guy there. And there he is, nicely focused. So we've got resin head. And there's green stuff tail. All these tails are made from green stuff. Um, as were all the spines. They were actually, I used that instant mould. Um, so I made one tail and then made the rest with a, with a bit of a... Um, soft wire in there so that I could bend them and these um, spines were made from more lock jaws so I won't, I won't go through every single model on this video so you see that secreted pattern here on the on the wall uh, which is, is very much meant to look like it's come direct from the movie um, that's the same sort of effect that I've gone for on my Tyranid bases that you've seen the videos for, um, or you, well, if you haven't, then check them out. I did the nine day painting challenge. Um, little guys coming off to the ground. Yeah, and then, obviously, another couple of guys there. Um, this army, that's why I'm getting some warriors, this army should not have been competitive. It shouldn't have won a game. Um, the list was uh, a swarm mod, who was obviously my queen. Um, do my Malantai, um, which does make a big difference not having them in the game available now. Um, six, well, two two sets of three spore mine clusters, six Ripper swarms with tunneling, um, Death Leaper, and then 15 warriors because it really was about keeping it themed um, as opposed to anything else. And um, it, it shouldn't, have. warriors are too easy to kill. Put a strength eight on them. And, and the, the, the instant death. Um, but I won all five games because people people aren't used to playing something that just runs across the table and then eats them alive. The Doom of Malentai scares everybody, so they all focus on the Doom of Malentai while my warriors are getting into them. And I got the Great Devourer um, at Throne of Schools, um, January, no, not January, um, September 2013. Because um, people just didn't know how to deal with it. Um, I didn't build it for that purpose, I built it for, for, for looks more than anything. Um, here's a warrior again, um, resin, uh, not resin, um, green stuff, more lock jaws for the spines and then green stuff tail. And we can try and focus that in again, see if we can get into his head. Mm -hmm. A different set of resin heads. And every single one of the 15 warriors has got a different pose. They're all dynamically posed again with some of that secretion on the wall. Um, keeps it, keeps it to the movie. Paint job is ridiculously simple. Um, I sprayed them black, um, and then dry brushed them with, with a grey um, to pick out the details. Washed over them with Waywatch green, um, just to give it that slight green tint. Because um, if you go to Alien, the the, the original movie. 
the aliens more green and that than black. But then if you go to Aliens, the sequel, um, the, the, they're more black. So I wanted sort of a mix between the two. And this is what I came up with. Um, and then obviously just picked up the teeth with a bit of silver and white. Um, and then the bases all came from a company called Fenris Games. Check them out if you want some resin bases. Um, I know there are plenty of people who, who do them. Um, but I was happy with those ones. They're actually called Salako, um, which is obviously the name of the ship in Alien. Um, and then my, my, my higher fleet was higher fleet in Ostrama. But yeah, they, they, they were unusable in the end um, as an army. Because I've me done my recent Tyranids, which is a 1500 point list. And A, I wasn't putting all these heads back on them. Um, so you can focus in on that head. There you go. Right. Um, I got the heads made by a guy out in America and they arrived literally. I went down to Warhammer World on the Friday for the tournament and they arrived on the Thursday lunchtime. I almost was going to have to take my Dark Eldar with me. Because I had everything painted up but without heads on. Um, so I went into my, my, what was my local GW Southport store. Um, once the heads arrived. Well I went in actually with an Eldar army and I was just going to paint that up. With the guy's help in the store. Um, and get it in. It was already built, it just needed painting. And then I got a phone call to say these heads had arrived. So I whizzed back home, got them. Went in, painted them all. And with, with the help from... Like a factory production line in the shop. Got all the guys helping me out with them. Um, but yeah, so this is my Mirror Universe video. Um, why is it a Mirror Universe? Because I don't use them anymore. Um, I don't know what to do with them. There's more of them. There's more warriors down there. In, um, I've got Battle Foam. Um, just got Pluck Foam for them. Because I knew I wasn't going to be using them massively. And I don't know. When I get my hobby room done. At some point this year when the extension gets built. When we, when we sell this other property. And then... They're going to look cool in a case, but they'll never be used in a game, I don't think, because they now don't fit with me Kraken. I mean, Kraken don't fit with them. I don't know. I don't know whether it's one of them where I should have sell them, but then who's going to want to buy an army that you can't use this guy? Well, you can. You can use them as a Malum throw. This is obsolete, although I have heard rumours that the next data slate they're bringing back, the Doom of Malantai, but he's going to be called something different, but have a similar rule set. And um, to bring them back, my set expose, because they're going to make one. So chapter house, a, a, a defunct with theirs almost. Um, I don't know. I, I, I was offered a lot of money for them as soon as I built them, and I, and I turned it down. Um, I was offered $2,000 for them from, from somebody in America. And I think, should I have took it, but then... I put so much time and effort into building them, those tails took forever. And they, they, they look awesome, charging across the field. Um, but that's why it's my mirror universe, because it's something I don't do anymore. Um, and, and it's something new for me with this. I'm going to have to play around with it, get those lights set up properly so that I can, I can, I can get light shining through here and it'll hopefully pop with the focus. Um, but yeah guys, um, tell me what you think of the aliens. Um, if anybody wants to know anything more about them, then ask me in the comments. Um, please comment, um, because I appreciate all the comments. Please like and please subscribe, um, and, and if you can, then share the video. Um, I'm really impressed. I've got 40 subscribers um, as of this morning. Um, I've only been running this, this this channel for two and a half, three weeks, so thanks to all the help from the guys from the Legion of Gamza, from the Help for Heroes charity who, who have all added me in. Um, it, it is helpful. Um, at some point I'm going to join that Legion of Gamza, but I don't have a PC at the moment. It's it's broken, um, so everything's done off my phone and tablet. Um, hence the the full videos rather than edited videos. And on that note, we're at 14 and a half minutes. I think it's time to to cut it down. So um, I will see you soon. I'm going to put an uh, Ultramarines video up either later today or tomorrow. Um, show you how I've got on with them. And um, see you soon, guys. Thanks for watching.